Hello everybody, welcome back again. My name is Nate 6 Steven and today welcome back to another video. So earlier this week or last week, depending on when you guys see this, I released a video talking about the changes that are coming to the channel. And I specifically missed one thing out. And that is where this video comes in. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running a series that is going to be talking all about the different things that Riot have teased. So, for example, let's say we jump back to the likes of Kindred, when the Kindred marks were out on the PBE, that type of thing will be covered in this type of video. That's basically what this video, well, series, is going to be about. So, today, we're going to be talking about the changes that are actually, well, not really changes, the newest champion that is coming to League of Legends very soon, actually. So, if you guys actually have been keeping a track around uh, the likes of the PBE, the likes of YouTube, Reddit, whatever, there has been specifically little tiny things that have been released that are hinting at the latest champion. The main thing is this noise on the PBE. That noise is something inside of a bush. Now, it's very weird because this noise doesn't sound like much. And a lot of, when it first got released, it was like many people thought that it was going to be this new, like, uh, I'm trying to think, you know, the animals that appear on the map of Summoner's Rift? People thought it was going to be something like that, just as ambient noises. But as we started getting further and further, and more information actually started to drop, we are now expecting this to be a new champion, because of another thing that I'll be talking about later. So, this noise specifically is very, very strange, because this is not what we expect from a new champion. So, this noise sounds like a a lot of people are saying it's like an Aerodactyl type thing. That's what it sounds like. It's definitely some sort of bird-esque thing. But wouldn't that be a little bit odd, don't you think? Because the last time we had a bird-esque champion was Quinn. And that wasn't specifically a bird. That was just someone who had a bird with her. But the last main bird we had was a Nivea. And that was fucking years ago. That was right back at the league's beginning. So for us to now get an, a supposedly a new type of bird as a champion, to me just doesn't just doesn't feel right because it just feels like it'll be going into too much of a Nivea's territory. So I just don't think that's going to be the case. But it's very very up in the air at the moment. So. When you start thinking about where this champion can go, again, because we have to start narrowing it down. So we've got this bird-esque noise, but where are they going? Well, actually, you can actually cut out three roles. Now, a lot of videos that I've seen, I've been cutting out two roles, but you can actually go th further with three. So... If we jump over to Daniel Z. Klein's Twitter, quite a while ago, he released this bit of information. There is one primary jungle champion in the works. It's not mine, and it's not the next one. Or the one after that. Sorry. Now, just that little bit of information, you may be going, oh, so the primary jungle, so it's not Talia, it's not going to be the next one, and it's not the next one after that. Actually... This was actually released around the time of the uh, Aurelian Soul. So, the it's not the next one, is Talia, or the one after that, and that's this one. So, we know this one is not a jungler. So, out of the five rolls, jungle is out. But also, if you actually start using logic on the way of the release champions... We've just had two champions from the mid lane released of Aurelian Soul and Talia. So what does that mean? Well, that means you can cross out the good old mid lane. 
that now leaves three roles left, top, AD carry, and support. Now, that's where most people have been, you know, drawing the line. However, if you guys have watched the League of Legends Twitch page, they actually did a live stream with the creator, Harrow. Now, this guy gets questioned, so the idea of this stream, actually, is they play a game, and they do a bit of a Q&A, right? Now, one of the questions came in, which was very, very interesting. Now, the question was about AD carries. And he makes a remark going that he would eventually like to start focusing on an AD carry. Now, that's not actually his specific words. If you guys want to go and watch that, it's over on the League of Legends Twitch page. I you know, I recommend going and watch it. It's very interesting. I recommend watching all of the Q&As. They are quite good. And they give you a lot of insight on a lot of Rato's, like, decisions and stuff. And it's quite good to watch. But he makes that remark about AD carry. So he's not making an AD carry, but he would like to. Well, that's another one crossed off the list then. Because if he would like to work on an AD carry, that basically means that he's not working on an AD carry. Because he would want, he would like to in the future. So, just from that remark, we can now start pulling from... Two roles, being the top lane and the support role. So that's two very interesting things. So now that we have narrowed it down to two roles, what about the posters that have been appearing? So if you guys have been keeping track over the likes of Reddit and other places, these posters have been going out. Now, I, if I remember correctly, they are Spanish and there's also been a Turkey one released. Now. After doing a little rough translating, thanks to Reddit and a few other people, what it means supposedly is wanted, ungrateful scoundrel, bush, coward, river battle runner, deserter, runs all the time. Now, that sounds very weird in my opinion, especially the picture it has, because it has a picture from what it looks like of Kogma, which doesn't really work in my opinion because we know it's probably not an AD carry you know it's probably a top laner or a support that's where a lot of information is starting to pull into if it's a coward a top laner is not a coward a top laner is either a bruiser or they're a tank so they're all about being in people's faces okay so is it a, so that means it's very highly a support now that also it works with what has been saying, like, coward, deserter, runs all the time. Now, yes, that may start, you know, maybe like I'm bashing on supports, but supports are certain supports, the likes of Sona, Soraka. They are all about staying back and out of the fight just to heal up their teammates. That's all they're really there for. They're not for getting in and starting doing these big, like explosive battles and stuff and you can even say that about some of the tank supports like the likes of uh, Tom Kench he's all about saving his own teammates which means that he could eat someone run away so you could interpret that as a coward and always running a deserter you know because he's all about just picking up and running off making sure that his team survives now this is actually very interesting because somebody on Reddit actually posted a idea. Now, they say it's a leak, but I don't think so. But I still think it's very interesting to actually think about. Now, what they say is the new champion is supposedly a tank. It could somewhat work. They are a Void Dragon Rhino-like character who is a tank on all fours, has a tail for knockback, a leap, and breathes this acid goo, and at level 6, they allow their teammates to start mounting them and riding them to share damage. Now, the support will be the control of the movement and can't cancel autos, but has increased range and more attack speed. Now, that seems very interesting, and I will definitely like that idea where... Let's say I'm playing AD carry. I can hop onto this new support champion and start riding him around. He can start getting me into fights. 
and it's all about me using my abilities and I can auto attack and all the things like that. That seems kind of interesting and I would definitely like that idea, but it definitely still feels very flawed and I don't think Rito would go in this type of route, it just doesn't seem to like it would work that well. But who knows, there's been a lot of like these leaks, inverted commas, because people always try to post leaks, but a lot of the leaks that in the past, for example, I think it was Renekton X Renekton, I think his name was, I'm not too sure though, he posted the information I think was about Nar and someone else, I think it was Echo, but there was like these leaks that came out and people looked at him and went, this is just complete bullshit, this is not going to happen, this just sounds completely stupid, and suddenly Rito comes along going, yeah, that what he said is actually true. That's the new champion. So that does mean that we can expect some very interesting things from Rito. And some things just don't, you know, you would expect wouldn't work. And next minute they would do. So the possibility is there for this. But it still seems like a little bit far-fetched. I don't think Rito would go this route. But you never know. And I would still like to bring it up. If you guys want to read up on this i will leave a link in the de description down below so you can actually have a little read of this yourself just like every other link i've used today all down below and it's actually very very interesting to look at some of this information because even though a lot of these like things that are coming out about this new champion it's actually very hard to actually start pointing little things because so far the teasers have always been about other things, you know, like the posters, they're going to Kogmar, which doesn't make sense. Why is Kogmar there? Well, that's where we kind of draw the line that we don't know. And hey, if you guys go back to the leak I just said a, minute, a few seconds ago, they did say void like animal creature. So, void might be actually a big part of this, and that's where Kogmar comes in. Possibly. Who knows? But that is. All I have time for today. I know I haven't been able to draw a very specific conclusion on the new champion because at the moment it is still very vague and we don't have a lot of information to go on. However, you can actually uh, you can actually expect to get the like announcement stuff very soon because if you go back to previously announced champions, they actually get announced either a day before or on the day of the PvE release. And as of me recording this, which is a Sunday, that means the PvE patch is going out in two days, which means for you guys, which may be seeing this tomorrow on the Monday, you might actually start seeing the, the announcement tr stuff today, later on, or tomorrow quite early, which actually means we're not too far away of knowing if these teasers are the newest champion. Now, the very likelihood that we won't see this champion released in them these two days is very unlikely because Rito likes to do teasers just before they announce the champion. If you don't count Jin, because you know they we didn't we got that information before Christmas and we didn't see him until like fucking three weeks after Christmas or after New Year's. Like, why Rito? Why? But, you know, that's a thing. Anyway, guys, hope you've all enjoyed today's video. Make sure you do all the normal youtube stuff. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, everyone. Bye.